my path? Am I on it? What do I need to be doing? Thanks. Heather, you, of course, you're on your path. You um, can't be off your path. This is a path that you created. I mean, you can detour from your primary path. Now, that's, that's something you should think about. We all come into this life with a blueprint. This blueprint contains within it everything, all the challenges we're going to experience, even the abuse, all of the joys, the successes, the achievements, all of the learning, all of those fundamental thematic moments that we're going to experience, all of the roads and destinations and relationships, all of this is contained in your blueprint. And there is a primary path there in your blueprint. This is the this primary path contains all the things that you wanted to get into this life. It's jam-packed with all of the stuff. And then there are secondary paths. And most of us, I believe, clock out of this life having walked probably a secondary path, maybe even a third path. We get detoured, right? We make wrong choices. We marry that guy. That wasn't a wrong choice, actually. That, but, but it did detour me from certain lessons that would have sort of streamlined me to an end result that I came here to achieve. So there's a primary path and we often detour and we kind of go off into deserts and we wander and then we come back to the primary path or an approximation of the primary path. But no road is the wrong road. No experience or moment is a wrong experience. Everything serves, okay? so. Get that kind of into your mind. You're already on your path. You're right where you're supposed to be. Everything is in divine order. Now, what you're asking is, are the things that you're contemplating moving toward? Are the things that you're involved in right now, are these part of your primary path? Well, what do you think? How does it feel? I would say to you, where's the energy? Joseph Campbell would say, follow your bliss. Where's the collection of energy in your life? Move in that direction. That's your, bread, that's your breadcrumbs. That's the vibration. Follow the vibration. What has more vibration? What has more high, high vibration? Keeping in mind that high vibration always feels good. Always feels good. So if you're, if you're wondering, should I follow this path? Maybe pursue this modality certification? Or should I go down this path? Maybe a conventional educational program? I don't know, two paths. Which one vibrates at a higher rate? Which one feels better, has a stronger or magnetic pull? That's the one that's connected to your primary path within your blueprint. Follow that. But you've got to go within. You've got to learn how to read that within yourself. You have to learn how to pay attention to what's going on. Spirit is always talking to you, my friend. The problem is never spirit. It's never like your angels are like, oh, God, if, if she doesn't see us, we don't have to talk to her. That crystal, she drives me crazy. No, they're always talking to me. If I'm not hearing them, that's me not checking out my field, not checking out my receivers, not making time in meditation. That's me not opening the pipe so that the water can start running clear. So I put that back on you. Yes, you're on your path. You're right where you're supposed to be. Are you heading in the direction where you should go? What would you say? <laughs>